Hey guys, welcome back to XTA. Today we're going to talk about an application that lets you use your volume rocker to control your device while the screen is off. Let's check it out. Let's start by downloading the actual application from the Google Play Store. We'll go to the Play Store, look for Quick Click by Blore, download, install it, and it should be the latest version available currently in the market. Once you have that installed, the service starts itself automatically. You can find it in your notification panel, go in, and you can set up the different patterns that you want to go in. Now, we've already set up a few examples here for us. We have taken a picture with up, up, down, and then playing music, up, up, down, down, flashlight, up, down, up. Now, I know there's a lot of modules that we've covered here on XTA that do provide you with flashlight capability, but this takes the volume rocker initiation of apps to the next level because based on the pattern with the screen on or off, you can initiate these activities. So what we'll do is go ahead and start up a new one and we can see the list of items that we are able to do. It goes through four steps. That's what the indications are here. And then obviously this is the free version of the, we have, you know, obviously ad supporting here. Uh, you're able to play music. You're able to use Google search functionality, tasker. So if you have a tasker profile, this is a great for you playing sounds, app, making calls, send the rest message. So in case of emergency, you can set that up. Of course, taking pictures and videos and turning on the flashlight. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use this and we'll say we're going to launch an app and it'll go ahead and go through your entire system and then launch all your different applications. Um, let's say we're just going to go ahead and launch the calculator for now, just for the example. And then we'll go ready. Next step. Now we can set the pattern. You notice in this example, you have all these options that you, you know, you can go pretty long as far as what you can do. So I'm going to go with the negative plus negative. So it's volume down, volume up, volume down. And by default, it gives it the name of the application that you're using. You can play a sound or vibrate. I don't need the vibration because if it worked, it'll work. And then we'll go back. We have it in here. It gives us again, the pattern it tells us what's currently running and that the service is running. That's with the on button up there. Now, outside of this, and I'll get into the example of what this app does, uh, you have the ability to go under settings and this gives you a little bit more explanation. Now, obviously this is a running service on the device. If you do notice battery drain, you do have the option of turning off this functionality or at least turning off the service from listening while the screen is off. So it only work when the screen is on, saving you some battery while your sleep is, when your device is in deep sleep. The other thing we have here is the ability of using root. I haven't turned it on and it's been working fine for me. So I'm assuming that this is for some functionalities that require a root depending on the system turn on. If you're going to use this to turn on, let's say GPS, there's some functionalities that require root, playing music, phone calls, system boot, restoring volume, you know, restore the volume and all of this stuff. This is just the interval of how long the clicks need to be. And you're also able to turn off notification by just going in. It'll show in the notification or it won't show. You can also turn it off by going into the app information itself and then disabling this. But again, they give you the option here. Two different themes, black and white. We chose the black one by default uh, and then restore default settings. And once we're done, it's pretty much it. You can go home. The system is actually running and it currently is in the background. I'll just turn off the screen and then we'll do our option that we just did. Down, up, down. And it turns on the device, gets us into the calculator. And as you saw before, I have the option of turning on to take pictures and I've done that in the past and it does go in. The uh, options to turn on the flashlight does work and you're able to set the, the actual interval of how long the flashlight is there. So you're able to go in here, so like flashlight setting. I have it set to 29 seconds. By default, it's set to zero, which means it's infinity. Triggering the command one more time turns off the flashlight. So in case you're wondering about that part. The purpose of the application is pretty simple. It's really enabling you to control your device using your volume rocker by using different patterns. And you can either set a call and sending a message, turning on a flashlight, using Google Voice, uh, turning a whole bunch of different functionalities as you guys saw in the hands-on. It's really, really well built and it works very well on my device. It does have root request permission uh, feature built in, but it's not turned on by, by default. And the only thing I can assume is that some functionalities within Android, depending on the version of Android that you're running, do require root and that's why it's there. I didn't turn it on and it worked quite well. I turned on, you saw the flashlight, the camera, uh, playing music and you know the ability to just control the device while the screen is off. I like it, especially since my Note 3 does not have a dedicated camera button like the Z2 and I'm able to use that to initiate to take a picture using it. Uh, you do have the ability of turning on the haptic feedback but you have to go through the settings for that. And then overall, it's pretty good. It's free, it's currently available on the Google Play Store there is a premium version of it. You can go through under the options and you'll see be able to go to pro. But other than that, I think it's very nice. Let me know what you guys think. 
Um, other than that, I will see you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I will see you guys next Tuesday.